reaction to change. Thank you. Your natural body's reaction to change. So we talked about that being any kind of change that we have. So if we have a lot of change, like we're moving, uh, maybe somebody's ill. Uh, what's really interesting is they actually have a stress scale and the number one thing on there, well not number one, but actually winning the lottery is actually a higher stress than death than, than um, death of a spouse for a lot of people. I don't know about you guys, but I want to see if I can handle that kind of stress. Yeah. So, <laughs> right. So, um, but, but so change is stress, and when we have too much strict change or too big of a change all at once, it can actually cause us problems, okay? So one of the things we talked about was <clears throat> the law of diminishing returns. And, and the, these things are ways to help yourselves manage stress, beat burnout, deal with depression and anxiety, and in general, just have a more productive and enjoyable life. So the law of diminishing returns basically says if we do anything for a long period of time without taking breaks, we become less efficient as time goes on. So if you, how many of you, uh, when you're in school, anybody ever pull like an all-nighter? <laughs> yeah, okay. How effective was that? Zero. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I don't know if anybody remembers Jolt Cola. Jolt Cola? Oh, so yeah, it's okay, yeah, right. Long, right back in the 80s and 90s, right? So one time I had, I think it was a chemistry test, and I said, okay, well, you know what? I'm just gonna pull an all-nighter because I've heard about these wonderful all-nighters. So I had some Jolt Cola. <sighs> they advertise it as Oh, what's it? All the sugar and double the caffeine. Yeah. That's what they said, right? So I had a Jolt Cola, stayed up all night, studied, and then I was going to the, going to the test in the morning, fell asleep on the bus. <laughs> Showed up at the test, and I was just jittery the whole time, right? I failed the test, so I think in the summer. But uh, yeah, so clearly this does not work. But this also applies to our lives in general. So we need to take breaks vacations, time off. Those, those are the folks that, that uh, come to this church. Every Saturday, you take a break, right? Take a break from everything else. And that's a, that's, a, that's a good practice. We need to take a break so that we can have a better life and just actually start ourselves back at the beginning of this curve and be far more efficient. Everybody wants to be more efficient, yes? Yes. Yes, yes thank you. The other thing we talked about was, <clears throat> how anxiety or arousal plays into performance, right? And, and we talked last night that people think that the more they try, the better they do. But in, real, in reality, there's a peak. And once you pass that peak, trying harder or more arousal or tension in your system actually has you falling off. So one of the things we talked about as a strategy for helping us be healthy is to do little things to bring ourselves to a place of calm. Whatever that might be, prayer, meditation. One of the things we didn't talk about last night is getting out into nature. When you get out into nature, it has an extremely calming effect on your nervous system, on your body, on your mind, and it actually undo undoes the effects of technology that we're dealing with right now, okay? So some of the studies that they've come up with have said that the more screen time young people, young people over there, of course, uh, young people have, <laughs> the more screen time young people have, or adults have, the more depression, more anxiety, the, the higher levels of bullying, a um, lot of very deleterious types of things that happen with increased screen time. What's really interesting is, you take those same kids, put them in nature, let them go out in the park, or the mountains, or the woods, and it undoes that. They feel calmer, they feel more happy, their self-esteem goes up, they're actually kinder and more, uh, more compassionate. So being in nature, if it's good for kids, it'll be good for us old folks too, right? Yes. Yes, okay. 